you uh, had an opportunity to meet somebody who's really done well in the music business. Oh yes, absolutely. I was given the opportunity to meet American singer-songwriter Daryl Scott all the way from Nashville. He came here to Western New York. Now Daryl was touring with the Zac Brown Band, their Welcome Home Tour. They made a stop here in Buffalo and I was given the opportunity to speak with him before he opened the show for the Zac Brown Band. Daryl's extra special, Linda, because he was actually able to be perform with the band the entire show. So not only did he open for Zach Brown, but then he was um, really a member of their band. That's pretty cool. He was on stage for, I think, close to three hours. Yeah, not a lot of bands, I don't think, do that, extend that courtesy to the opening acts. That's that's pretty nice. Yeah. That shows you how much the Zach Brown band respects what he does. Mm -hmm. And he is such a talented musician. He has written many songs, some that have been covered by Faith Hill, Brad Paisley, those nice. names ring about. Yeah, nice. Yeah, and you know, he really was truly humble, really nice man, and uh, he actually gave advice to aspiring musicians as well. Take a look. Oh, candy scratching at my door. I got a big black candy scratching at my door. We are so happy to welcome American singer songwriter Daryl Scott to the Western New York area. Daryl, you have been touring with the Zac Brown Band. Can you tell us what we can look forward to throughout the tour and what types of reactions are you getting from your fans being a part of the Welcome Home Tour? Well, I'm opening the shows, so, uh, and Zac plays to, you know, 10,000 people and things like that. Uh, so that's a little out of my norm. So really it's kind of cross-pollinating, trying to, uh, you know, let Zac's people know about what I do. Uh, and then what happens actually, uh, which is very cool, and Zach wanted it to be this way, I open the show, and then really I stay up there for their set. So I'm really out there for like three hours, wow. basically. So I'm, I'm a player as well, and a multi-instrumentalist, and so basically I'm out there for the whole time, and as well as you know, starting the show too. You released your latest album last year in 2016, Couchville Sessions. Yeah. This is an album that you have been working on for a very long time, starting in your living room. Yeah. Can you tell us about your creative process and what goes into it? My process is a, maybe a little different than most. I, I can be working on several projects at the same time. And so this Couchville Sessions is one that I tracked uh, probably 14 years ago and so that came out last year and so I know that that's a little different process than, than you know just kind of honing in on one and then releasing that one as soon as you've kind of finished it. Working on the album for so long when did you decide that you know what this was the final touch and I am finally ready to release this album? Well it's when I got to do everything I wanted to do toward the music. So for example, I tracked it with bass, drums, and guitar, and then myself, and live vocals and all that in my living room. When I've done all my sort of list about a, a record, I suppose that's when I could say, you know, I can't, I, there's nothing else I can do with this and want to, I've, I've done everything. And so it must be done. When you first announced that you were going to release it, you made a statement saying it's important to be an outsider. Being in the music industry, what did you mean by that? Well, it's, it's a perspective, I would say, uh, as an artist. Uh, I mean, it's, it's an ironic statement here. I, I feel like an outsider, uh, even though like I'm on tour right now with the Zac Brown band, uh, but I'm the new guy, uh, and I have a perspective even, even with this band, you know? And I think that's a healthy place to be as an artist. I always want to be on that edge of where I'm not aware that I'm selling out, so to speak. I want, uh, I want my stuff to be known and heard, but not at the expense of it being true. So my, part of my way of staying true is to not be wildly successful. All right. <laughs> is that advice you would give to aspiring artists? It is, and especially if artist is, is the word. Uh, you know, uh, definitely. I think that, that just comes with the territory. Well, not only are you a talented performer, but you have written many mainstream country hits performed by Faith Hill, Brad Paisley, the Dixie Chicks. Yes. What is it like hearing your songs covered by these artists? Wow, well, I, I love that these, you know, famous country performers and, and others 
have recorded my songs, you know, so, I mean, take the irony of, you know, I write the songs in my room by myself, and then, so how does it then go to millions of people? Uh, so that part is out of my hands, right? The songwriting is in my hands, I suppose. Uh, so there's a part where the, the writer isn't really a part of making a song a hit. You know, there's a business uh, model that makes it a hit. When you're sitting at home writing your songs, where do you find your inspiration? Yeah, from living, really. Uh, sometimes it's, uh, you know, observing the world, uh, being a father, you know, being a son, uh, having a love, a love affair go great, go poorly. Living will bring on uh, inspiration um, and I go to songwriting to process my world to process what's going on with me um, and I'd say that's where it comes from you know and so I can't really plan the inspiration part uh, I sometimes try to push it into happening sometimes but it seems to have its own timing for me Daryl you have been very busy with the welcome home tour yeah. what's next for you well, to con continue this tour, and it's, it's pretty heavy uh, this year. I think we've got another 40 to 50 dates, and I have some of my own dates as well of just uh, my own shows. And I'm having a ball with these guys. So really what I want to do at, while I'm out here is, uh, is work on a, a new album, and, and even in a pre-production kind of way. Like we have most of our days you know, off before the 8 o'clock or 7 o'clock performance so it's to work on new music while I'm out here because I got I got things that I could be working on when when you're at a venue all day long you know well Daryl thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today I look forward to hearing what you have in store okay. in the upcoming months Daryl Scott everybody Courtney Corbetta AM Buffalo yeah, she's coming in on the Courtney was such a genuine God. He really was. He was so humble, down to earth, such a pleasure yeah. to speak with. And he mentioned that Zach Brown and the crew, they treat him like family. And I Isn't think nice? that speaks yeah. a lot of the artist. Yeah. And I can't wait until he comes back to Buffalo. Yeah. He's very talented. Yeah, and to think his songs are being covered by all those big stars. How cool yeah. is that? They obviously respect his work. I know. Next time you listen to the radio, you never know. Don't forget that name, Daryl Scott. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody. <laughs>